All right, hello everybody. My name is Troy Harrison Chris, and on today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys some of the mods I've downloaded and how to download them. Some of the mods can be kind of tricky, and they require you to place them in different uh, file folders. So I'm going to show you which ones I have and uh, how you can download them. So uh, first things first is I got this uh, reticule mod uh, for the bow, so it's a lot easier to aim. Still kind of sways a lot and isn't the most accurate at the beginning, but it helps a lot when you're, uh, when you're trying to go for those long-distance shots. Like, let's say if I want to shoot that... Yeah, you still have to hold it down and be accurate and uh, actually have a good arrow skill. Besides that, you also notice that the trails on the bow are gone. There's no longer a white trail, which I like a lot. Um, I have unlimited saves, so I can save the game whenever I want without save your schnapps. Um, but guys, keep in mind that uh, there's not unlimited saves. You have to delete uh, old ones as you go. I think there's like a 50 save limit, so yeah, keep that in mind. Besides that, I also downloaded Easy Lock Picking, which I haven't totally tried out yet. Maybe there's a, a something to lock pick over here. Let's see how much easier it is. Can I open this door? Can I open any of these things? One of these should be lock picked. Oh, shut up, don't you? Uh, let's try that out real quick. See if it's actually that much easier. There's got to be something l locked up in here. Here we go. Oh, it just unlocked it. Get back! Whoa! Alright, yeah, so, uh... The, uh, arrow mod is a lot better. I just want to try out the lockpicking. Okay, so easy lockpicking just unlocks anything easy. Wow, you don't you don't even have to do the whole lockpicking thing. It just unlocks stuff. That is great. Um, alright. I'm not gonna sh even use a save game. Uh, let's, uh... Let's show you guys how to install this stuff. So the arrow one I just installed, so let's uh, do that real quick. Um, so basically, you come here, files. I'm just going to kind of duplicate the process so you guys can see it. Manual download, it's going to give you this. Show in the file folder. You can just extract it here. I like to use 7-zip. Extract here. Actually, I'm not going to do that again. It'll, do, it'll give you this after you extract it. Um, you'll then hit copy. And then we're going to go to the Kingdom Come game directory. So go to wherever you store your games. So mine's in my D drive and other games. Steam apps. Common. Kingdom Come Deliverance. Um, and then this one we are putting in the actual um, bin folder. So we're going to drop this one in Win64. Uh, right? Is that what it said? I believe that's what it was. Yep, we're going Steam, Apps, Common, Kingdom Come, Deliverance, and we just drop it in there. That's literally all you got to do with this one. This one's pretty easy, and then you can also add the command line if it's not working. So yeah, you just uh, drop it right here. Paste. Bam. And it's, uh, it's right there. Besides that, you can also go into your library, right-click, Properties, Set Launch Options, and you can add this. Um, and that will give you the cursor. Uh, the other thing, the no, uh, bow trails, I just downloaded that, where's that, uh, no trails, yeah, so, um, uh, let's go to the page for no trails, so it's pretty easy to download, alright, um, where is it, remove those stupid trails, alright, so you would click files, manual download, and I'll show you kind of what happens, I'm not going to download it again, because I have it right here, no trails, it's right here, ready? So you would then be clicking, um, I like to move into a different folder, in fact, I think it's in my KCD mods folder, so you'd move it into your mods folder, um, and then I, I have, uh, no trails right here, you, you click on this, 7-zip, extract here, it'll pop this up, and then this one you put, I'm pretty sure you put it into, uh, oh, you just drop this into data, like most of them. So yeah, then you would go to, we just pass it, yeah, your Steam apps, common, Kingdom Come Deliverance, data, um, and then you would just paste, you paste that in here. Don't, don't move it, just paste it. So wherever you just had it, right, you go copy, and then you move it back to your data folder and just clicks an empty spot and click paste and then it's right there it'll it'll pop in there 
so yeah, that's basically it. Um, that's how you get really all the other mods I downloaded. Um, if you want the no, the un unlimited saving mod, it's the exact same process. Um, you is this out yet? I'm gonna do a video when this is actually fully up. Um, besides that, yeah, the unlimited saving. It's the exact same thing. Download the file, right click, extract it, move it into your your random folder just to keep it in order so it's not in your downloads and then copy it into your data folder for all the easy ones. Um, the reshades and the, the E and B stuff, that's going to be a lot harder. So yeah, hopefully this was helpful for you guys and not super all over the place. But yeah, those are the mods I have. That's how you install them. My name is Troy Harrison Christ. I'm out of here. Leave a like, subscribe, do whatever you want.